Today we're going to be talking about a topic that most people will, you know, be a little bit shook by, but I kind of expected this to happen. July 25th, 2021 is the day that the baby's career ended. He may not have disappeared and he may still make music, but it'll never be the same as it was. I want you to look back a few years ago and think about when the baby was at his peak, when Suge and all that other shit was going crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know, no matter where you looked, the baby was there. You know what I mean? He was on the radio, he was all in your face on fucking social media, internet, everywhere. Everybody was talking about the baby. The babies, they're everywhere. I pull up. <laughs> when is the last time you heard of the baby song be posted on the radio or even promoted by anybody else? The baby had a show booked at King's Arena in two days at New Orleans and sold less than 500 tickets at a venue that was supposed to seat 14,000 people. This just goes to show you as soon as you make one statement that the industry doesn't like, your career's on a downward spiral. Listen, you ain't sucking nigga dick in the parking lot, put your cell phone on. Let's be real about this shit. Rap career or something like that, the only way it can go is up or down. There are a few artists that can stay stagnant, but that is only when they reach a certain legendary status, you know? Until you reach that status, your career is either on an upward spiral or it's on a downward spiral. This is just crazy to me because I remember a time when the baby would sell a 20,000 arena himself and it'd be sold out that same day. I just saw the same thing happen to another artist somewhere probably close to New Orleans, I believe, that he only sold uh, 85 tickets and he also canceled the show. I'm not gonna lie, you expect that when you see someone on a smaller scale or maybe even on their rise, but the baby at one point in time was one of the biggest rappers in the game and now he can't even sell a thousand tickets inside of one city like New Orleans. New Orleans is one of the main places in America that love loves rap music. The worst part about these tickets is some of them are going for $35. So people can't say that maybe it was because of the price or anything like that. No, some of these tickets were $35. It's just more of a matter of the baby has fallen completely off from where he was. He has two shows left, one in Paris on October 9th and the other one's in Houston, Texas on November 12th. Selling out Paris may actually be the easy. Houston, let's hope this man can actually sell exactly what he needs to. What he needs right now is a confidence boost. Once a rapper goes through something like this and they see that their fucking show didn't sell a thousand tickets, it actually hits them very hard mentally. Well, let me know what you think. Do you think the baby has fallen all the way off or do you think he can recover himself? <laughs> like and subscribe, all that good shit. Peace out. Fuck me, old bitch. Thank God. Crash fucking whip. Thank God.